This video will show how to configure and set up one of our VT4826 controllers with an analog output so that the output responds directly and proportionally to a given input. In our example, we will say that the measured temperature input range can vary between 0 and 50 degrees C and the output will correspond so that when the input is 0 degree C the output will be 4 milliamps on our meter and when the input is measured at 50 degree C the output will be proportionally 20 milliamps so that there's a direct relationship between the change between 0 and 50 and 4 and 20 milliamps. The, the first thing to do is to set our measuring range in our VT4826 controller so that it measures from 0 to 50 degrees C. In order to do this we need to set two parameters. Firstly the parameter called LOLT, which is the low limit of our measuring range, and make that zero. We will then need to access the HILT, which is the high point of our measuring range, and make that 50 degrees C. In order to reach the option level, you press the set and the sideways shift button together for a number of seconds until the display changes and reads level and soft. You then use the up button past the PID level to the option level. In the option level, you press the set button a number of times until you reach the LOLT level and if you remember, we wanted to make that equal to zero, which it is. You then press the set button again and you'll reach the HILT parameter. This by default will be set to 1000 or 1370. It is this parameter that we want to reduce and make equal to 50 degrees C. So instead of running all the way down digit by digit, I have sideways shift button to reach the hundreds digit and then I use the down button to get down to say 100 or to 70. I will then use the sideways shift button again to get to the tens digit and use the down button twice to make it read 50. So with the HILT parameter set at 50, that means our measuring range is now 0 to 50 degrees C, which is what we wanted it to be. Once you've made the HILT 50, push the set button once to store it in memory, and then press the set and the up button together to revert to the normal measuring display. Now, in order to get the controller to function as a proportional only output controller, we need to change three settings, i.e. the proportional band setting, the integral setting, and the derivative setting. These parameters are to be found in the PID level. In order to access the PID level, you press the set and the sideways shift button together for a few seconds until the display changes and reads level and then the up button once to access the PID level. The output of this controller is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal and we would like the output to change from 4 milliamps when the input is reading 0 degree C to 20 milliamps when the input is reading 50 degrees C. In order to achieve this, we need to make the proportional band 
percent, which will equate to a hundred percent change in the status of the output when the input varies a hundred percent of our range, which is from zero to fifty degrees C. In order to do this, you simply push the set button once and you will reach the PB, which stands for proportional band parameter. Now use the sideways shift button and highlight the tens digit and then the up button and change it to be 100%, which is what we require. Now we need to remove the effect of the integral and derivative term from the PID algorithm. So if you press the set button once, you'll reach the integral term, which is TI. Simply use the sideways shift button and make this equal to zero. Press the set button to reach the derivative term. And again, we want to make this zero. So just do the same by using the down button and setting it to zero. Now press the set button and you have completed setting the parameters for the operation of this controller. Press the set and the up button together to revert to our normal position. At this point, you need to set the set point to be 50 degrees C as it is in the example. And you can see that with a measured temperature of 50 degrees C and the set point of 50 degrees C, the output is 4 milliamps. What we would like is that when the measured temperature drops down to zero, the output will increase to 20 milliamps. I will now change the input from 50 down to zero, and you will see that the output is going from four up to 20 milliamps. We have now configured this controller to function as a direct proportional only controller. If, for example, I was to make the input measure 25 degrees C, you would expect the output to be exactly halfway between 4 and 20, which is 12 milliamps, as is the case.